Tonight begins the two-day holiday of Rosh Hashanah, which is known as the Jewish New Year. Before the holiday begins, we would like to tell you what it is, how it is celebrated, and what it means for believers in Messiah. Rosh Hashanah is not mentioned by name in the Bible. Instead, we hear about the day of the blowing of the shofar, or the Feast of Trumpets. In chapter 23 of Leviticus, God commands the people of Israel that on the first day of the seventh month, they are to blow the trumpets, present an offering, and rest from their usual work. Rosh Hashanah is a happy holiday filled with celebration. During this day, people will blow a shofar or ram's horn in observance of the command to blow the trumpet. The shofar also serves as a reminder of God's kingship over Israel. Certain passages of scripture are read during Rosh Hashanah. The most notable is Genesis 22, which tells the story of when God asked Abraham to sacrifice his only son, Isaac. Abraham brought Isaac up the mountain, bound him, and raised the knife to kill his son. And it was at this moment that God stopped Abraham and provided a ram to sacrifice in place of Isaac. This is why the ram's horn is also considered a symbol of God's provision. In addition to blowing the shofar, people will also eat particular foods during Rosh Hashanah, such as round challah bread, which symbolizes the never-ending cycle of years, apples with honey, which symbolize the hope for a sweet new year, and pomegranate seeds, which point to the numerous good deeds people plan to do in the new year. Another tradition associated with Rosh Hashanah is the Tashlich ceremony, which may take place in the afternoon or during the following 10 days of awe leading up to Yom Kippur. Tashlich is Hebrew for casting off, and during this ceremony, people will gather next to a body of running water, such as a river, and throw pieces of bread into the water. These pieces of bread symbolize what the prophet Micah says in chapter 7, verse 19. He will again have compassion on us. He will tread our iniquities underfoot. Yes, you will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Throughout all the traditions of Rosh Hashanah, we see echoes of the gospel story. The same way God provided the ram as a sacrifice for Abraham and Isaac, so too he provided his son Yeshua as the final sacrifice for our sins. Following Messiah makes our lives much sweeter as we face each new year and the obstacles that come with it. Finally, we will hear the trumpet blast when Yeshua returns, and all the believers who have passed away will rise from the dead and receive new bodies. As our Jewish brothers and sisters celebrate Rosh Hashanah, Let's remember how blessed we are to belong to our Messiah and rejoice in knowing that He will return again soon.